In today's video, I'm going to show you how to mix shea butter and Jamaican black castor oil and also how to use it to grow hair like never before. Grow thicker, healthy hair. Keep on watching. Aka! My lovely people welcome back again to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to mix jamaican black castor oil and also shea butter you already know that i love my shea butter you guys and also i'll be including my amla butter into today's recipe so this video is how to mix your jamaican black castor oil and shea butter now we're going to talk about these two so that you really understand what it does to the hair now when you're talking about jamaican black castor oil jamaican black castor oil is known to strengthen each strand promoting hair growth okay and it also creates a healthy environment on the scalp which makes the hair grow even much better it's also known to circulate blood on the scalp let's also talk about shea butter what it actually does to our natural hair all right so shea butter actually has anti-inflammatory qualities and fatty acids contained in shea butter supply essential nutrients that help to treat scalp conditions and improve the overall health of the scalp this will in turn strengthen the hair follicles reduce hair loss and make your hair grow thicker now you guys did you hear it saying it actually improves the overall health of the scalp that's why i always encourage you guys to apply the shea butter on the scalp so this is the amla hair butter that i'm putting right now um this amla butter is so good that's what i've been using also on my daughter's hair the shebe and the clove hair butter and also the amla butter for, but for now i'm using the amla butter so i'm just gonna mix it all up as you can see it's actually melted well and i'm going to put it in this applicator bottle uh for easy application all right guys so these two are super powerful they help to grow thicker hair these two you can actually put them on the scalp now i know that other people out there they say thick oils can you know block the hair follicles and all that but child that is not true Ako, just apply this on your scalp but maybe not daily maybe three times in a week okay and also make sure that you're washing your scalp as well because you don't want a lot of product built up on the scalp which actually in turn causes your hair to struggle to come out of the scalp okay so make sure that when you apply it you're also washing your scalp on a regular basis but these actually grow your hair what was in the spray bottle was clove water okay guys i really really love cloves and i also mixed it up with my aloe vera juice and i'll come up with that video now this is how i apply the shea butter and the jamaican black castor oil when i apply it on the hair now i think my daughter says low porosity i really work it in now if you're working with thick products and you have low porosity hair low porosity tends to to actually close the cuticles are closed so whatever you are putting on your hair is actually not getting in so you actually have to put more extra effort to work in the product like as you can see in the video i was working in the shea butter in the jamaican black castor oil now i also spray water water actually helps as well to soften up the hair before you go on ahead and put your oil on the hair so i really love to work in the product you guys work it in i don't know why people rush where are you going you just put the product on and you started running away <laughs> you have to work in the product as you can see so this you can use it as a pre pull okay i think as you can see you can see that my daughter's hair has really grown now the other secret as well um why her hair is growing like this i'm not touching it all the time i'm leaving it in a protective style when i take it down i do treatments i put it back in a protective style you guys that is the way to go now if you have a goal like you want to reach waist length you can actually do these protective styles when you reach your desired length then you can start styling your hair the way you want 
brand but for now i'll be doing protective styling on my daughter's hair and also you guys um i've also done a video on how i actually apply the shea butter on her scalp you guys now the amla hair butter actually included the jamaican black castor oil in that hair butter and i was applying it on her scalp let me tell you her hair grew out super thick okay now these things are not jokes okay this treatment actually helped to thicken up the hair especially if you're actually applying the shea butter in the jamaican black castor oil on your scalp you're going to grow hair like never before now some of the times i would apply the hair butter okay the amla hair butter on the scalp every other day and i wouldn't wash your scalp okay but the hair was still growing okay guys so um, i really think we should do what works for you now people are different some they have a lot of product built up soon after they apply maybe two times or three times others don't so you need to see what works for you but for my daughter's hair i think protective cells are really working for hair your hair is much thicker much healthier because i was a bit consistent with these hair butters okay and also including my jamaican black castor oil in the amla hair butter if you want to see that video i'll leave it in the description box below okay guys you can go and check it out how i make the amla hair butter but you guys let me tell you shea butter is one of the best that you can ever use on your natural hair it softens the hair it makes your hair thicker it makes your hair stronger Ciao. let me tell you it also helps with length retention there was a time when i was actually spraying the clove water on my daughter's hair and also sealing it with the hair butter every day i was doing that every day and my daughter's hair was loving it it loved it i was actually doing it every day and i saw that wow our hair needs moisture almost every day because after you do that maybe after some hours the hair is dry again so <laughs> our hair needs moisture you guys moisture it prevents dry hair and it also prevents breakage so you guys uh if you can see a difference in my daughter say please comment below because i want to know sometimes you might not see the difference because it's me doing it here. Sometimes I might not see, but ciao, I've seen it. Can't you see now? Can't you see? Help! Ciao! Please comment below if you can see what I'm seeing. Her hair is really grown out thicker, healthier. And I'm also introducing her to Ayurvedic treatments. I've actually done an Amla treatment on her hair, but I didn't film it. I did that because I wanted to strengthen her individual strands because I need to, you know, strengthen those strands, okay? Your hair might be growing thicker, it might be growing well, but if the individual strand is not strengthened, it's going to break off eventually. So I'm just trying to introduce her to Ayurvedic treatments and um, I actually did a protective style on her hair and I think I'll put a picture there so that you see and I think I'll be keeping it in for a while and then when I take it off, I do the Amla treatment treatment as well and then i'll just keep on going on like that because i think the hair needs to be left alone to be serious you guys treatments are good but not all the time always touching the hair the hair doesn't need all that okay if you really want to grow out your hair leave it alone ah Jared, leave the hair alone i'm so separate look at her hair look at that bun so big and so beautiful Ciao, thank you for watching and bye for now. Bye.